I'm an ex MIT student, MIT College from Pune. It's in the Kothrud area, and I'm a software engineer with 48 percentage. And uh, I'm a little proud to say that thing. A lesson which my teacher told me, and I think I should tell you all people here. There was one hackathon which was there in the college in 2010, and uh, we all students were asked to prepare a presentation. We got some time. We got some few days to prepare. I've spent almost two days, 48 hours, or approximately, on preparing the presentation. And that time GPT was not there. You all people have less today. We had uh, Google and search engine tools. We did a lot of research and, uh, after a lot of hard work and uh, went with confidence delivering that particular PPT. The day of hackathon came and uh, one by one all the students kept on delivering and giving the presentations. I think mine was in the top 10 in terms of the content. When I went for delivering, I started delivering and it was 20, 25 slides. Many bullet points, many uh, charts were there. Uh, differences between them, beautiful titles and everything. And after some time, my teacher called me. They gave me a big lesson and I think I should share with you all people. Uh, they said, Pavan, it's not a data storytelling what you're trying to tell. It's not anything which you're presenting. Uh, it's more of like reading a newspaper. And I felt very bad about it because I have done a lot of research and hard work behind that. And she said to me, she explained to me that it's nothing against you, but it's the delivery. Content is good, but delivery matters. The way you deliver also is an important thing. And also, based on some research, there's a study done that 42%, uh, it increases the retention when you have images, when you have visuals, when you have icons, instead of boring textual data. I had to face a lot of problems. Uh, content was good, but the delivery was bad. So here I am with the same message what my uh, teacher told me at that time. The visual presentation should be appealing. It's not about only the content. It's about the delivery. It's about the data storytelling. So here in this video, I'm helping all the students, all the working professionals, all the freelancers across the world who spend a lot of time into creating content and creating PowerPoint presentation. In this video, you'll be learning the top three presentation tools, which are AI. And with the help of this AI presentation tools, you can create presentations in 10% of time and it will be 90% better than what you prepare today with different visual appealing infographics, images and data storytelling concepts. Let's understand the top three AI tools in this video. So the first tool we'll talk about is the slide go option. Now to work on the slide go, you can click on the link in the description. Then you can just click on the login option. Now you'll find three options over here. Uh, continue with Google, continue with Apple, continue with WMail. Now we'll select the simplest option, continue with the Google option. We'll click on that option. The next we'll just click on the account you want to log in. We can, if you have multiple accounts, you can select one account. Once you log in, you can see there are five options available. The first one is AI Presentation Maker, which we'll be talking right now. The second one is AI PDF to PPT. Imagine if you have a PDF document, you upload a PDF and you can download a PPT from here. The third one is AI Lesson Plan Generator. If you are a teacher or instructor or a trainer, and if you want to plan a lesson for your participants, you can use this AI Lesson Plan Generator. The next one is AI Quiz Maker. You can create quizzes, MCQs from here. And the last one is AI Icebreak Generator. We'll talk about the AI Presentation Maker. So we'll just click on the AI Presentation Maker. Now in this place, you can put any prompt. Whichever presentation you want to make, you can just enter that particular prompt. Right now, what we'll do is we'll enter a prompt like Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning and Education. Now, which you see on the description, we have added Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Education. So we want to prepare a presentation on this particular topic. When you do that, the next option it will ask is, do you want to choose a slides? There are two options, 8 to 12 slides or 12 to 24 slides, depending upon how do you want to present. Second, you can see once it is done, you click on continue. After that, it will generate table of all the contents less than 60 seconds. The next one, if you see, imagine if you want to change any description, there are three options you can see. Rewrite text, make it shorter, make it longer. So based on the context, you can pick up what do you exactly want. Once you do that, once you're convinced with the pattern, the slides, number of slides and what do you want to rewrite, you can just click on continue. So choose whatever you want from them and just click on generate presentation. So this way you can see entire presentation is prepared in less than 60 seconds. Now it's not the best in the world, but it's better than spending a lot of time on to repetitive work. Now, if you want to download that option, you can just click on download now option. Your PPT would be downloaded. And now let's try to click on that PPT and you can see 
you can still make the changes once you open the ppt you can also make the changes in that powerpoint presentation here so that's very simple slide go option in presentation maker the second ai tool which is my favorite it's napkin currently it is free available so you can use it enjoy that particular tool it's best when you want to create beautiful infographics within few seconds creative infographics can be created with this napkin let's see how to do that first you can click on the link in the description second you can click on the get napkin free option now you'll see two options over here one is sign in with google or sign in with email we'll definitely click on sign in with google option log in with your email id if you have fill all the required details and it will ask you two options the first one is how do you want to create a presentation by pasting my text content if you want to paste your already created content one option or second is you can create a ppt or a presentation with generating ai text okay you just write a prompt and the entire presentation will be created so we'll select the option as click by generating text using ai and uh, i'll just write a simple prompt here whichever topic you want to create a presentation you just enter the prompt generate a complete hr policy manual this is for a company where they want to create a policy for their team so which you can see in the description right now now what will happen is once you click on this button over here it will automatically create the entire content in less than 60 seconds the entire content is created and can see on your screen right now now this is a simple text which any llm can create open ai it can create by crop or gemini any tool can create this but what is the beautiful part over here where you see the thunder icon on the left hand side you can select the entire text or you can just click on the thunder icon on the left hand side once you click on that what happens is within few seconds the textual data will be converted into an infographic now this infographic is excellent and you'll not find this infographic in any tool in the world right now so it's beautiful and you can choose the options from here you can see multiple type of uh, diagrams uh, choose whichever option you like and uh, once you choose that option you can change the color format also okay based on your selection suppose you select one of them and what you can do here is you can also change multiple things let's say if you want to change the font you can definitely change the font from here there are different font options available you can also click on the b symbol to make it little bold and uh, if you want to change the size of this particular text you can also change the option from here the color palette option depending upon which company you're working depending upon what product or which client you're pitching you can change the theme of that particular color which matches that particular client or a product finally what you can see is after doing all the changes if you want to download that particular image you can just see the download option here when you click on this download option there are multiple options one is png svg ppd and pdf since we are just selecting one particular image you can just click on this download png as an image now we'll do it again uh, just for an example again we can select any text you can see on the diagram over here and click on the download option again the same options will come but this time we'll select the option as ppd now the same image what we downloaded it now you can download in the ppd format so this one single image can be converted into ppd directly here so this way you can keep on changing for different uh, textual options here now imagine it's a two or three pages document or 10 pages document and if you want to download the entire page into a pdf format into a ppd format so what you can do is you can see on the right hand side there's a share button you can click on the share button on the right hand side and you see there's a download option once you click on this download option you have this four options available uh, there are plenty of options you can select the last option download as a powerpoint presentation and just click on download once you do that the all the slides which you have created all the different infographics which you have created it will be downloaded as a ppt format here and still if you want to make any changes particular text or anything you can convert into a powerpoint presentation and still make the changes so this is the best tool one of my favorite tool which is napkin and it's free right now so you can enjoy and use it Uh, for various purposes in college presentation if you're working in a, uh, as a freelancer to make money and if you're working in a company you can make some presentation for your boss if you are a c suite person you can also make it different infographics to attract the audience so that's the second option which is napkit the third tool which we'll see right now is the presentation intelligence now you can just click on the link given in the description second you can just click on sign up for free click on sign in with google choose your google account click on continue this window will open with three different options create with ai import option and create from black 
so we'll try something different in this example we'll just try to import the data okay now you can see there are three options one is describe what you have to make you can upload any document which can be text pdf or document you can also put a url option here okay so we'll go with this time with url and uh, what you can do is we can pick up any url from here so if you have a wikipedia if you have any blog or anything you just pick up that url and from that url it will create a powerpoint presentation for you it's so simple and easy so what you can do is you can copy the url from the description i have given the url in the description and you just paste it over there and just click on submit now it will load all the data which is given on that url and when uh, we click on generate option it will create a table of content in less than 60 seconds and then you can choose whatever option you want and then you can just click on generate option now here once you do that you can see that's a powerpoint presentation which is created and uh, suppose you want to share this presentation with someone you want to download that option you can see there are two options once you click on share button there's a share option and there's an export option you'll you can click on the export option and there you can see four options one is export to pdf export to powerpoint export to png export to jpeg long image so from here we'll select the option as export to powerpoint that's the most common option we can select and then you can just download that particular presentation once you do that and you can see the powerpoint presentation is created and still if you want to make some changes you can quickly do that so gone are the time where you have to create a presentation it takes four hours eight hours and still you're not convinced you're not happy with that with the help of this three ai tools you can make wonders you can save a lot of time bring creativity into your place and attract your audience you can do a data storytelling with this particular presentation tools so enjoy these three tools practice and then try to use it for your work purpose i hope you have understood that's all for this video